The odds were clearly stacked against Finn Balor, as he not only had to take on Bobby Lashley, but his hype man and mouthpiece Leo Rush in a two-on-one handicap match had a chance to win the Intercontinental Championship. However, luckily for Balor, he didn't have to pin Lashley to win the belt, something that played in his favour during the match. The powerhouse Lashley started things off and started off strong, but Balor managed to get in some cheeky offence on the big man. Well, that is until he chased Leo Rush around the ring and was caught with a devastating spear into the barricade by Lashley. Lashley continued to wear down Balor in the ring and tagged in the hype man, who managed to do little before cowering out and tagging back in Lashley. Thinking that Lashley had worn down the former Universal Champion enough, Rush wanted another piece of him. Rush managed to get him into an abdominal stretch, but Balor powered out. Another tag was made and Lashley looked like he was going to finish him off, but a cheeky tag was made for Rush to add insult to injury by letting him finish him off. Assuming he got this, Rush missed a splash from the top rope. This would be the team's downfall, as Balor was now able to concentrate all his efforts on the now winded Rush. Balor hit a coup de grace on him, and that was all she wrote, as he managed to get the three count for the win, winning the Intercontinental Championship for the first time ever. But why? Why did WWE take the belt off Lashley so quickly, only holding it for a mere 34 days? Well, we have three reasons why. Number 1. A Consolation Prize When Finn Balor debuted on NXT, he was poised for success and it showed, as he would win the NXT Championship and hold it for an impressive 292 days, becoming the longest reigning champion to date. When Balor moved up to the main roster, WWE wasted no time inserting him into the title scene, becoming the first ever Universal Champion. Sadly, this would only last a day, as Balor was forced to relinquish the title due to suffering an injury during the match. He never outright lost the title, but upon his return, Balor was demoted further and further down the card, losing all his momentum. It took more than a year for Balor to climb up the ranks again to get another shot at the title, facing Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble. He managed to put up a good fight, but was unable to slay the beast. And despite his popularity in WWE, it's clear they don't want him to become champion again. Though he still thoroughly deserves it, awarding him the Intercontinental Championship was a consolation prize. It's similar to Nakamura winning the United States Championship instead of the WWE Championship. Consolation prize aside, Balor can do wonders with the belt and can clearly add value into the championship, something that Lashley didn't achieve. Number 2. Keeping Lashley Strong Regardless of it being an unfair 2 on 1 match, Lashley for the most part managed to dominate Balor. He managed to do most of the work in the match by flattening Balor with his brute strength and power. Let's face it, Balor only managed to capitalize on a win because he pinned the much weaker Leo Rush. Had this been a simple one-on-one, -on -one, it wouldn't have been so easy to get a win. Him pinning the hype man was a chance to protect Lashley. Now, this is purely speculation, but there could be a chance that WWE still wants Lashley to go one-on-one -on -one with the Beast Incarnate, and dropping the title was the first step. A dream match between the two has been long awaited. And number three, to split up Rush and Lashley. After the match, a clearly irate Lashley put all the blame on Rush for losing his title. Lashley grabbed him by the neck, but let him go. But after thinking that he forgave him, Lashley launched the hype man into the air and slammed him down to the mat. By all accounts, this looked like Lashley is done with Rush, which could mean that he'll be sent back to 205 Live permanently. Lashley reappeared later on in the night to join Drew McIntyre helping Baron Corbin win his match against Braun Strowman. Lashley being a part of this dominant faction could be more suited to him. But what do you guys think? Are you happy that Finn Balor won the Intercontinental Championship? Let us know in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time with some more wrestling content.